Hi, and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So if only living longer was as easy as popping a pill or two each day. While vitamin supplements may give some individuals the edge against certain health conditions in general, they're unlikely to help anybody to see any extra birthdays. New research has now found out that certain vitamins won't help extend your lifespan. Although some evidence from other studies has shown they may give some health benefits to older people in their latter years. Researchers in the US National Institute of Health, the NIH, pooled data from three large studies. And there are links in the description below to the studies and articles I used to put this presentation together. They surveyed more than 390,000 adults about their diet and health to look at multivitamin use and health outcomes over nearly three decades. NIH epidemiologist Erica Lotfield and her colleagues wrote in their published paper that many US adults report using multivitamins to maintain or improve their health. But whether promises of better health translates to a longer life is indeed another question. The findings from this analysis confirm the largely negative results of all the other prior studies. They indicated that the use of a daily multivitamin won't lengthen your life. On the contrary, the risk of dying from any cause was slightly higher, just 4%, among multivitamin users in the first few years of the follow-up. This is when they compared the results to the non-users of multivitamins. There might be a few reasons for this, which are going to be difficult to untangle. People with niggling age-related health issues may have been more likely to try a multivitamin, for example. However, those that take multivitamins more often than not eat a healthier diet and they exercise more. They are also inclined to smoke less and earn enough money to afford health supplements. These are all factors that could improve someone's health. The same was true indeed in this study. Participants were generally quite healthy with no history of cancer or other chronic diseases. Multivitamin users tended to eat a better quality diet and had a lower body mass index or BMI. That said, BMI is now an oft criticized and discouraged singular health screening tool. These confounding factors, which were well accounted for in the study, have clouded, they say, previous analyses. The wide variety of multivitamins and their compounds has also made it extremely difficult to compare them from one observational study or clinical trial to the next. Even before the results of this investigation, Experts were lukewarm at best on the benefits of taking multivitamins, maintaining that it depends on who is taking them, why and how. Taking specific vitamins can help those with medically diagnosed deficiencies, such as iron or vitamin B, or to supplement the extra demands, for example, of pregnancy. A few recent trials also indicated that daily multivitamins could help improve memory and slow cognitive decline but only in older adults and only for a short period of time. Vitamins with antioxidant properties, such as vitamin C and zinc, also appear to stave off macular degeneration, a condition of progressive vision loss in older age. However, supplements can be harmful if taken in excessive doses or with other vitamins, or they interact with prescription drugs. For example, beta-carotene supplements increase the risk of lung cancer in those people who smoke. And vitamin K may reduce the efficacy of blood thinning medications, whilst calcium and zinc limit the absorption of antibiotics used to fight some bacterial infections. Also, multivitamins aren't regulated in the same way prescription drugs or over-the-counter medications are. This leaves the door wide open to overblown marketing claims of their effectiveness, which don't, by law, have to be backed up with any evidence. Getting our daily requirement of vitamins from our diet, as opposed to topping them up with supplements, is for most people the safer way to go. For example, a 2023 study found that switching to healthier foods can add up to 10 years to your life. The team behind this study stated that the bigger the changes made towards healthier dietary patterns, the larger the expected gains in life expectancy are. But again, eating healthily comes down to who can afford it and what access they have to nutritious, fresh food options. Let me know in the comments below, do you take a multivitamin in the hope that it will extend your lifespan or even your health span? 